it going, guys? We're back at it today. Okay, we've got our helper. Okay, he's ready to rock. All right, we're going to start out with a dynamic stretch. Okay, a lot of the same stuff that we've been going through. And then we're going to do uh, a workout that we did closer to the beginning. We're going to add in some different exercises, but it's 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So we're going to start out right here with the dynamic stretch, get you guys nice and warm. Okay. We may have some more stops in between to get some water because we're working outside. It's a lot hotter than it was earlier on when we started this. Okay, so we'll have some water breaks in between. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to go here. We've got our cone set up. All right, we're going to start out high knees. Ready? Go ahead. Very nice. He's getting a lot of touches there. That looks great. Okay, going back. The arms move. Love it. Breather. And we got butt kicks. Butt kicks. Okay, shuffle, face of knees, face of the cone, stay low. And then straight back. Two, two. Okay, carry open. Step over, step behind. Ready? Let's go, baby. Let's go. Good job. Okay, power skip. Slow it up. Let's do it. Go back. Good height. Okay, slowing it down for a second. Now you're just going to make kicks. Hard uh, down, back down to the grass. There we go. Okay. Head back. Grab a drink at home. Okay, we're going to move into our circuit here. Okay, um, again, it's going to be 30 seconds of work, okay, and then 30 seconds of rest in between. Okay, so just try to go through this as, as best you can. I like this one because we're, we're, we stay in one area. Okay, so you're going to be right here. Okay, and we're going to have you doing various exercises. Most of them you'll know, some of them you won't. Okay, so right there. That look good on camera? All right, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start you off pretty easy. We're just gonna do a body weight squat here, okay? And I want control, okay? Getting some good depth, okay? Just over breathing, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. 
Okay, we'll stop for a bit and, and get some water uh, when we get about halfway through. Okay, ready? And go. Okay, sit back, good squat. Okay, he's pushing his knees apart. Very nice. Ten seconds. And rest. Okay. At home in between. Okay. You can get some water in between. Uh, whatever you feel like you need to do. We're going to do push-ups next. You guys know what that's all about. Okay. Remember with push-ups. Okay. We're trying to keep our elbows in between. So we don't want them here. Don't want them here. Right here in between, right? And you're getting ready to cross check somebody. Okay? You guys don't ever do that. Okay, ready? And go. Strong push ups there. Keep going, keep going. Control it, control it. Want to burn yourself out here. You have to rest in between. You're doing exactly what he's doing there. He's taking a little more time in between. Okay? But he's staying up in that push-up position either way. He's almost there. One more. Knock it out. Rest. Okay? Give yourself a rest. Relax. Okay, next one we're going to be seated and you're going to do Russian twist. And if you need your water in between, get a little drink. Remember, you got 30 seconds in between. Is it hot enough out here for you, or what? Oh, you want it hotter. Crazy, man. Three, two, one, go. Okay, his head is turning, and he's looking at the ground when he touches. Okay. Great job. Next one, okay, we're going to go here, your hands are in front, and you're going reverse lunge, back, reverse lunge, okay, some freedom. Got about 15 seconds here, guys. And go. Alternating reverse lunge, make sure your foot is flat, you're driving up through the heel. Great job. Look at his head, his head is up, chest is up. Okay, exactly how you want to look. And rest. Okay. Next one, you're going to be on your stomach. Okay, Superman, low back extension. We've done that one a couple times here. Okay, you know what that one is, right? Okay. We're going to have our palms down here to the side. Okay, so we're not focusing much on the shoulders. Relax for a second. Still got a ways to go, my friend. And go. Okay, only 30 seconds, he's really coming up, lifting his legs, chest is way up, chin needs to be tucked a little, tuck it, tuck it, there you go, beautiful. Next one we're going to do, okay, we're going to do alternating and you're stepping to the side, shooting your butt back, coming back. Stepping, shooting your butt back, coming back. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, you're really sitting back on this. Okay, it's not about speed, 
Okay, it's about control, seeing how low you can go, okay, and doing them properly. Three, two, one, go. Step out and step back. Okay, step out. There you go. Now you're rolling. Okay, there it is. Oh, there he's getting deep. Beautiful. Woo! Okay, notice he's not going super fast, but he's getting control. He's really sitting back. Okay, that's textbook right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, his knee is not going over his toe. Great job. And rest. Get a little water. Okay, so next one you're going to do, okay, you're down, you're going to go alternating uh, arms and legs. So you're here, okay, and you're going alternating down, alternating down, okay. Two, one, go. Butt down just a little bit. Better, better. Be strong there. Good job. You go. Slow and controlled on this one, guys. Okay, rest. Now we're going to get moving a little bit more. Mountain climbers are next. Okay. Let's do this, guys. A couple more, and then we'll get a get a little rest break. And go. Drive those knees up. Let's go. Let's go. About Twenty seconds left. Keep going, baby. And rest. Good job. Good job. Suck a little drink. Okay. So next one we're going to do, skater jumps. Hey, this is one where you're going to get a little height. Get a little height. Boom. Stick and hold. Boom. Stick and hold. Okay. Got it? Tap that back foot for balance. Four, three, two, one. You got it, baby. Come on. There it is. Beautiful. Back leg is tapping a little bit for balance. That's textbook. Nice job. Great work. Keep going. Rest. Okay. Next one. Okay. We do one leg, then we're going to do the other. 30 second rest in between. Okay. So this one, we've done it before. It's just a lunge and hold. Okay. Just a hold. Okay. 30 seconds rest, and then 30 seconds for the other leg. Hop where you go. Let's go. Turn to the side. To the side. There it is. Now we can see it. You see that form? Yeah, baby. Woo! Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, last one, then we're going to take a little drink break after this. Got to do his other leg, then we'll get a, get a little rest. And then we'll move on to the second half. Good. 
10 seconds here, guys. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. He's not moving around a bunch. Okay. Right, it's only a 30 second hold. Should be able to do this, right? Pitch the knee there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everybody at home, get yourself a little drink break. Okay. All right, guys, back at it here for the second half. Okay, we're going to start out bicycle crunch. Okay, in between, okay, drink some water. Drink some water in between. Stay hydrated, especially if you're working outside. This one you can do in your living room. Okay, so we start out bicycle crunch. He knows what to do. Follow along here, guys. You'll be on your back. Okay, 30 seconds. Ready and go. Rotating, really rotate. Rotating. Goes. Keep going. You're almost there, big dog. Five seconds. And rest. Okay. Next, what we're going to do, you're still going to be on your back and you're going to go glue bridge and hold. Okay, do you know what that one is? Ready? Five seconds. And go. A little tan there today. Put some sun on your boy. Fifteen seconds. Rest. Okay, side plank is going to be next. Right. Done this a couple times now. Hoping to see some improvement. I know some of my players that are currently watching need some improvement on this. That's for sure. Ten seconds. Let's see. He's got his feet stacked. Right, it doesn't matter which way you go. You can do both. And go. That's perfect. It's pretty strong. A whole lot of movement there. So to pick that stick up. That's it. <laughs> Ten seconds. Come on. That's a good look there. And rest. Okay, you got 30 seconds and we're on the other side. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We're moving along. We're about 20 more seconds to rest. We'll move to the other side. Five, four, three, two. One, let's go. Get that hip up, hip up, hip up. Five seconds, come on. Rest. Front plank on elbows is next. Front plank on elbows is next. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, turn 
to the side. Three, two, one, and go. Go. Simple plank here. Three seconds. Should be no problem for you guys at home. I know it's no problem for the big dog here. Make it look easy. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, next one. I don't know, you may have done this one before. Okay, so you're going to be here. Okay, you're balancing and you're just striding out, touch, back in. Striding out, touch, back in. Extending that foot, touch, and back in, balancing on that leg, okay, hockey position. Ready? We'll go balance on the left leg first, and right leg will stride out all the way, and tap, and back in. And go. Nice. He's getting full extension on that leg that's going all the way out, okay. Head up. There it is. There you go. It's nice to get some arm movement. That makes it look real. Ready? Rest. Okay? Then we do the other side. Drinks in between. We're getting close here, guys. We're getting close. Go, other side. Beautiful. Okay, we'll move on, we'll do a little upper body. Okay, so next one we're gonna do, right, is our 30 second push up holds. You guys should start to get better at this one. Okay, 90 degrees, this one's tough. Coming down, and we're just holding, 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 holding. Okay, chest is hovering above the ground. Face Let's see. Face. Yeah, face that way. See your chest, and go. Down, it's pretty good. Come up a little bit. Try to have your elbows at 90. There you go. That's the juicy spot. This is impressive, guys. This is impressive. You can do it for 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Nice job. Beautiful. Okay. So next one, okay, this one looks a little goofy. I, we had you guys do this close to the beginning. Okay, this one you're here, okay, and you're going down, tapping your head, and you're doing shoulders now. Shoulders. Okay. Butt is way up in the air. They don't smash your head on the floor, please. Doesn't matter. And go. Ready at the top of your head. There you go. The closer you bring your feet to your hands, the harder it's going to be. Last one we're going to do. Last one we're going to do. We're going to finish with burpees. Okay. And we'll get a long rest. And then we will uh, we'll get a stretch in to finish. Okay. Ten seconds. Good 
piece to finish. Down into a push up. Ready and go. Let's go, baby. Finish it out hard. It's tight in between. Ten seconds left. And rest. Okay, so everybody at home, get a nice long rest. Okay, get yourself a nice long rest, and then we'll move on to a little stretch. Okay? Okay, we finished with our circuit here. We're going to finish with uh, just a little hip stretch that we've done multiple times now. Okay? And then we'll get you guys over and we'll send it over to the skills guys. Okay, so we're going down here, side out squat. Okay, we'll just hold. Okay, have a seat, butterfly stretch. Okay, let's go on your back. Hug your right knee to your chest. Nope, nope, right knee like this. We're going to do that one in a second. Try to go to the side. Turn to the side so I can see it home. There you go. Right hand switch. One figure four open window stretch. You know what that one is? This one right here. Okay, so you're back here. Okay, you can reach it through like that. Okay, got it? There you go. Now you've done that one before. side on this one too. See? There you go. Let's switch. Go the other way. Let's finish up with just a hanging hamstring stretch. That is one of my favorite stretches. Great job by him. 
uh, helping us out today. We really tore it up. Okay, worked hard. Okay, we're going to send this over to Skills. All right, take care, guys. Okay, as always, stay safe. Okay, enjoy the Skills. Take care. This water break is brought to you by Crooked Crust. Refer a friend to a virtual practice and receive a free pizza. Once referring a friend, please email Coach Salikin to collect a pizza voucher. Plus, for a limited time only, we are offering DFW hockey specials on curbside pickup or get home delivery using DoorDash, Uber Eats, or Grubhub. Please join the Texas Tigers hockey community during these tough times by supporting Crooked Crust and order your pizza tonight. Now, on to today's skill session. Hey guys, this is Coach Trevor here. Uh, we're going to be doing our seventh uh, video. I got my son Cross and my nephew Wyatt here with me. And um, I know we've gone over a lot of videos so far and we've done a lot of different skill things. And, and I know Coach Carson and Coach Forrest have done a lot of different things from shooting, to stick handling, different moves, to one-timers, uh, slap shots. There's a lot of things that we've covered so far, us three coaches have. Uh, in the last three weeks and uh, we got a, a few more uh, different videos and skill uh, sessions for you guys uh, in the next uh, couple weeks prior to us getting back on the ice so um, here's another drill um, and video that we're going to work on today that uh, we're talking about creative passing okay uh, obviously passing and receiving is a huge highly skilled play for for players but um but there's also uh, just being creative with the passing and just doing different creative passing. So what we're going to work on today, and I will, I'll act as a defender. Uh, Wyatt and Cross will kind of be acting as a, uh, a two-on-one. And obviously we got a, a, a Cross as a lefty, Wyatt as a right-hander. And we're going to go over some different passing drills. And, and uh, so the first the couple that we're going to work on is just a drop pass between the legs. And we're going to work on going on your backhand. And then we'll go and work on drop pass on your forehand, okay, from both those guys. We'll do it, walk through it a couple times. And then we're going to do some other different creative passing uh, where you attack the net in the offensive zone on a two-on-one. And like I said, I'll just walk through and be the defender, okay? And then you guys will uh, work on uh, working on the passing here, and then we'll uh, do a couple other different passing drills. So if you guys can line up over here, Wyatt will be on this forehand side. You can even move up a little bit if you want. And uh, cross, you're going to the ball. You're going to come across, cross, and then you're going to drop it on your backhand as Wyatt comes in behind. Okay? So, obviously at home, if you guys, you're going to need another partner for this. I mean, it's going to help um, whether it's your parent, your, your mom, your dad, your, uh, maybe your brother. And we're going to work on drop pass, backhand, drop pass between the legs. Okay? Watch out cross when he comes in. He's going to push back on that ball, okay? You gotta push back on it, because you got momentum going forward, but you gotta push back, because you got your, your your line mate coming in behind you to get it, to receive it, okay? So, let's walk through here. Under the defender cross is gonna come down, he's gonna come across, and then through the legs, back in, and then shot, okay? Good, let's go over that one more time. As you can see, cross showed a little bit of deception, and then he pulled back right away on that ball on the backhand. Pulled back right away. And put it right into an area, right into an area where, where Wyatt can pick it up. Okay? So let's go again. We're walking down here. We're coming through two on one. Wyatt comes in behind. And backhand through the leg. And shot. Okay? That was really good, guys. Good job. Okay, so now Wyatt, you go as a right-hander. Let's look at it from a right-hander standpoint. He's going to come, he knows that his, his line mate is coming in behind for support. Cross is going to call for a little drop. He's going to cut to another lane. And it's going to be backhand through the legs, leading him with that pass. So we're working on backhand drop right now. Here we go. Wyatt coming down. Come across. Through the legs, backhand. And then shot. Good. Let's do it again. We'll walk through it again. Very good. Very good. Okay. Gonna come down in this lane. Here we go. He's coming down in this lane. He's cutting through, cuts behind, back in through the leg. Good. Let's go through the pool one more time. Why? We'll go through back end through the legs, okay? Let's go through the legs, back in. Through the legs, back in. One more time. Pass. Here we go. 
going down, two on one, back here to the legs, and through, and shot. So now you've got the backhand. Now, Cross, you go with the ball. We're going to go forehand. On the forehand drop between the legs, it's a little bit higher risk play because you got a little bit less blade on your ice as you pull through. But sometimes that's the only play that could be made, and it's a very good play as well. But you only just got a little bit of the toe of the blade on the ice. Okay? So let's go walk through again. Same kind of uh, drill. Cross is coming through. And you're going to go forehand now. Boom. And shot. There you go. Okay? A little tougher play, like I said, because cross is obviously just a little bit of blade on the ice, right? And you're coming with speed. You're coming with, with momentum. And it's just a little bit tougher. Okay? Let's go one more time from cross the side, and then we'll go wide side. Here we go. Got some speed. Forehand. Drop. And then shot. Awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, so here we go wide. Now let's go up on the right-handed side. On this, he's going to come through, cut, go away, forehand through the legs, pass the cross. Here we go. Cross, forehand, through, and shot. Ooh. Nice. Good. Out of way. Here we go. We're going to go again. From the right hand side, cutting into another lane, passing it through. Here we go. On the through, forehand through the legs, and Shot. Good job. That away. Okay. So we've worked on cutting through a lane right now. Backhand through the legs, drop pass. Forehand through the legs, drop pass. Now we're going to work on coming down. They're on a two on oh, two on one, and it's going to be behind the back pass on the backhand. Okay? Very good play. Gives the guy and the player a little time and space. Cross will start with the ball. Why will be a little bit delayed on the two-on-one. Obviously, we only got so much room out here to work on this, but if you're just a little bit behind Cross, Cross will come in, and a little backhand pass to Wyatt for a quick shot on that. Okay, so two-on-one. Let's walk through this here, boys. Here we go. Coming in, Wyatt's a little delayed, backhand, and shot. Good. So let's walk through it again. Wyatt stays in his lane here. A little delayed. And then cross comes in here, backhand pass on the tape for a quick shot. A little delay, white will, will stay in this lane. Here we go. Coming in, a little delay, backhand pass, through, and shot. Good. Awesome. Okay. So now let's go by it from the other side, from the right hand uh, standpoint. As you guys can see here, they got their hands out here, they got the ball back out front, and then boom, it's a quick backhand pass. We want to pull this pass off quick, okay? Here we go, the wide side. The leg, backhand, boom, on a tape, and shot. Awesome play. Good job. So like on this instance, in a game situation, your teammate is coming in just a little bit behind you, and you're forcing that defender to come with you, and then now backhand pass quick to the other side. Let's walk you through one more time from the right-handed side. Here we go. And back in. Oh. Good shot. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now let's work on voice. You guys switch sides. Switch sides. And cross, you're going to do the forehand side. Once again, White, you're delayed. Game situation. Your teammate has delayed maybe about five, seven feet back on the ice. And he's going to come in now, cross, and you're going to come in, hands rope, forehand, behind the back pass. Okay? Here we go. Coming down, a little delay. Now he's calling for it, forehand, over, boom, and shot. This is a tougher play to make, okay, guys? The reason why, because now you gotta get your hands out, and you gotta roll your hands all the way around your body, come around here. See my hands right now? My hands, my top hand, I, I got my hands crossed over, and I come around. There. On the backhand, it's a lot e easier because my hands are here and they just continue to stay there. Does that make sense? So this forehand pass is tougher to pull off in a game because of look at our hands are crossed over. Hands are crossed over. Let's walk through it again and then we'll go to the wide side. Here we go. Coming in, cross the hands over, 
Oh. That's all right. Now let's walk through it again, Cross. One more time. Let's go one more time here. Here we go. There we go. Cross them over, over the wire, and into the shot. Nice. All right, now let's go from wide side. You'll come in, right? And Robin, you come off the ledge a little bit so we got some room. Cross is a little delay. There you go. Go over the cross. And for the shot. Good. One more time. One more time. Get a really good play. Really good play in the situation. Okay? Cross is delayed a little bit. He's coming in a little bit late. There it is. For the forehand. Pass. And now shot. So, hold on here, guys. Hold on, guys. So, right now we worked on the drop pass between the legs on the backhand. We worked on the drop, pa drop pass. Um, uh, between the legs on the forehand, and now we come in and we've done the backhand pass, and now the forehand pass with the with the hands crossed. Okay. Now what we're going to work on is um, one hand pass. Okay. This is a really good play. I know Cross said you've done this uh, this but this move and this pass in the game a few times. Um, what's going to happen here is they're coming in. Cross would be on his offside, his off wing, and the D-man's backing up, entering and then, the blue line. I'm sorry? Entering the blue line. Yeah, entering the blue line, exactly. And then he's going to make that, he's going to get that backhand pass, one hand, on the top hand, and he's going to pass it through and flick it and, and snap it over to, the, to his teammate on the other side. Okay, drive. Watch how this play works out. It's a great, smart hockey play. Really, really good. Okay? So watch how this works. We're going to walk through this. And then we'll have Wyatt do it from this side, okay? So let's just really walk through it and break this down, because it's a great play. When we come down, entering the blue line, RC is coming in first, and Wyatt's going to drive behind me, and now Cross just throws it behind that defender to, to his teammate, drive and pass the defender. Does that make sense? It's a great, great play. So how did Cross make this play happen? Well, he had to get in that pass, he had to get out here, Get in that pass and then behind that defender and then snap his wrist on that top hand over to the team. Great, great, smart, good skill hockey play. So let's watch this little bit now. Wife's going to try and boom, through and then and then shot. Good. Let's go one more time here. One more time from this side. See how this thing plays out and then we'll get wide side, okay? Come down, come down, Wyatt comes in behind me, oh, makes the play, and there it is. Awesome, good job. Okay, so now Wyatt, you go from your side. Since we've got much room here, trust me, you don't want to get out here. You don't want a ton of room, so. Come in, Wyatt's going to get in the blue, cross comes in behind, one hand, over, and then shot. Good. The only way this play is made is that the, your, your teammate has got to how to come in and get on a passing lane in behind that defender, okay? Here we go, we're gonna go a few more times, okay? Walk this through. Oh, now cross the strides, pushes up behind that defender, and shot. One more time, boys, one more time, one more time. Good job. Awesome. Good, 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 good job. Okay. So, boys, come on in here. Come on in here. We're going to do a couple, of, just a, a stationary pass here in, in a minute. But, so, as you guys are working on this, you're going to have to have uh, another um, either teammate or, like I said, mom or dad or, or brother working on helping with these passes, but you've got to really work on, okay, getting those hands out, really opening up, or, or, or maybe it's the forehand with those hands out and, and crossing those hands over, or maybe it's that drop pass. These are things in a game that will really help you. Like a lot of kids aren't, aren't thinking out of the box in a game when the game's so fast and you got to be so creative, but if you can get that where you push back on the puck between the legs on the backhand or the forehand, it's going to really help you out, okay? So one last thing that we're just going to work on, and it's for the boys, it's just a stationary passing.
just working on the one touch. If you guys want to grab a ball, why and, and, and cross, let's just work on getting those hands out again. I know we've gone over passing in one of our videos, but it is just so important that you just have a good, good um, uh, core where your, your, your top hands are out and where your cup and that cup on the blade, okay? Your blade is tough. So if that puck is not bouncing, that ball's not bouncing over, okay? Cross, you want to guys get a little bit closer, and I want you guys to leave about three feet apart, real tight off the start, and then, then, they'll, then they'll push back a little bit, right? Okay? So let's just work on one touch pass. Get those hands out, hands out. Okay. There you go. Ah, here we go. I'll get. I'll, I'll retrieve. Here's the ball. I'll retrieve. You guys lose. There we go. One touch. Here. Yeah. 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 Keep going. Two more. Okay, good. Now cross it back up. Back up to the, the other balls there. Let's work on long pass. Long pass. Okay? Long pass, firm. Make sure you're catching it, cupping that stick. Here we go. Long pass. I know these balls will bounce here. You go, Wyatt. That's all right. Sometimes it is to bounce here. It's obviously not the same thing as being on the ice. Got to try and control that ball. Here we go. Some more. Working on just a long pass. Catch it. Okay, that's all right. Keep going. I know these balls are bouncing. It's never easy, but you want to try and secure that ball. Just keep your eye on the ball. There you go. There you guys got it. Good. Sometimes there's a little bounce involved, and now we just got to try and read it. Got to read it. Right? Got to read it. That's all right. Keep going. Two more. Just good to get a feel for that ball or puck. That's all right. Keep going. Keep going. Two more. Two more. Good. Awesome, boy. Good job. Keep going. Couple more. Couple more. Couple more. Couple more. All right. Good. Bring it in, guys. Bring it in here. Okay. So once again, we just worked on some different high level passing, whether it's the drop pass, behind the back pass, uh, maybe it's a one handed pass on the backhand and, and snap the wrist, okay? Um, guys, obviously we are getting close here to being done with this quarantine and just being at the state, staying at home. And like I said, hopefully the ranks are, are open very soon for all of us. Uh, as a coach, we, we, we miss you guys on the ice. Um, I know players, you guys are probably just itching to get back on the ice. I know Wyatt and Cross are really itching to get back on the ice and get training and just continuing to work on your skill on, on the ice and, and get skating again. Uh, boys, you guys are missing the ice at all? Yeah, big time. I mean, so we want to get back out there. But work on this with somebody at home if you can. And um, you know what? Once, once that uh, we're working on these skills and these passing drills, it's going to get better as you, when you get on the ice to work on these things at a high speed journey, uh, you know, practice or a game situation. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you at the rink soon. Thank you.